A major crackdown, a highway hazard. The biggest crackdown in history on this target, which is dangerous buses. Today, government SWAT team shut down 26 bus operators, the kind 720 million Americans use each year, citing a recent pattern of accidents involving other vehicles, too. ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila gives us an exclusive look at the SWAT teams as they're moving in. They were horrifying crashes, bus drivers falling asleep on crowded freeways, their 40,000-pound coaches careening out of control, one in New York killing 14 passengers. Sheared the bus nearly in half. The other in Virginia killing four, injuring 54 more when this discount ride flipped. The bus came to rest on its roof. Overall, since March of last year, 22 deaths, 169 people injured on these buses. Accidents, the government says, highlight the risk of climbing aboard the curbside budget bus. It's just much more affordable. Picking up passengers on the street. No depot for fares as low as a buck, but with safety records seven times worse than the higher-end Greyhound, says the NTSB. Accidents that today led to the largest single safety crackdown in Department of Transportation history. And this month, surprise inspections in 13 states and the District of Columbia, checking tires, lights, reverse, horns, Beep. and brakes. 26 bus companies in all shut down, 116 drivers suspended for license violations, and 169 buses pulled off the road. ABC News went along with Philadelphia police and DOT agents as they closed New Century Travel operating out of a beauty supply office. They wouldn't talk to us as we watched the feds take this bus out of service or respond to emails. So what's the headline today? We're shutting down bus companies that are, are operating uh, unethically, unlawfully. Cracking down on the fastest growing and riskiest segment of American travel. Jim Avila, ABC News, Washington.